here at Sebring in the uh, SRT Viper. It's actually one of my first times driving a GT car at Sebring. Uh, I did it in 2003 in a Ferrari 360, and um, I haven't really been in GT cars since. I've been in prototypes. Had the opportunity to come drive the Viper, and let me tell you, it's a different machine around um, around Sebring with all the bumps, but I'm having a great time. We had the shot at winning uh, at Daytona in the GTLM class, had a great car, and uh, we're trying to do it again here at Sebring. No, if we're not on pole, it doesn't mean it's game over. You know, we're, we're really not looking to do that. We're looking for a race setup that works, keeps these Michelins under us for, for the entire stint. Um, but like you say, at Daytona, we were really quick. Here, you know, we, we did get hit with some BOP um, sanctions there where we have to come in the you know, lower or smaller restrictor, more weight. And it, it's made it tough for us. It's been a little bit harsh on that side of it, but it is what it is. You show up, you drive the car to your absolute capabilities, and um, you know we've got a great ride under us. So I always love racing with these guys. I've had a long history with Riley, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put a Sebring 12-hour under our belt. Yeah, it's great to see indie car drivers, you know, being versatile and getting back into uh, sports car racing more often. Uh, something I really enjoy. I, I really couldn't see my career without it. Uh, it's something I use as a tool as well to prepare myself for IndyCar, and, and what I learn in IndyCar, I, I apply here as well. But um, seeing those guys out here is great. I haven't been seeing them that much. This paddock's so busy here at Sebring. You know, I know Briscoe's over at the uh, in the vet, so I'm sure I'll see him on track one, once or twice during the race. And um, some of the other guys, TK, uh, Dixon, Justin, and the uh, and the prototypes, and and there's some there's some others out there as well that uh, that I'll run into from time to time. But um, it's great seeing the IndyCar drivers representing. No, I'll feed him a wheel. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I have fenders, so the, the, you know I only I only have that opportunity a couple times a year, and and when I have them, I, I try and take full advantage.